Hi everybody, how are you? This is Leslie from Scrap and Life Away, and I am here to bring you the September um, prompt for my creative year, which is the for the month of September, it is stitches. And I am running late as usual um, for my prompt um, that was due um, earlier this week. But I have been really sick and have not had a voice. So my voice is almost all the way back. And um, the prompt is clothing for this week. So as you can see, I have here a pair of jeans um, that they were my husband's. That, uh, yes, I am not afraid to admit, I rescued these from the trash. For whatever reason, he was going to throw them out. And I thought, oh, no, 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 no. There's so much we could do with these. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to cut out a piece um, of this probably from the leg. And let me get that cut up for you. And I'll be right back. Okay, I have gone ahead and cut out um, a piece of denim out of the leg of my husband's blue jeans. And I've attached it to a um, piece of cardstock, and I'm, I use matte medium to attach it. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick dry with my heat gun. But just FYI, when you're heating material, especially denim, I would come from the underside and dry it so as to not burn um, the denim. But um, again, I really like to use denim and it's a sturdy material. And when I, I couldn't figure out when I first had these in my closet, why do I have my husband's jeans in my closet? Until I opened it up and saw that there was a huge tear in the um, butt area. <laughs> so I would rather use them for um, this. But anyway, um, this is going to be really cool. Um, but let me heat this up on this side, and we'll be back. Okay, now that this is all um, pretty much dried down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my Tulip Dimensional Fabric Paint, and I will link down below. Oh, I don't think this has been opened yet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do some designing. Basically, what I think I'm going to put on here is some flowers. And one of the reasons um, that I chose the denim is to show that, you know, this would make an awesome um, journal cover. Um, all, you know, with journal covers, you know, you, you don't always necessarily have to do, um, you know, a... Uh, a painted journal cover you can just use fabric so I'm just going to draw some hearts here with my dimensional fabric paint and these are not going to be perfect because I'm not perfect now once I get the hang of it it'll be better this is the first time I've used this and I loved the hot pink color so let me finish putting my hearts on here and I'll be back. Okay, I have got some of my designs already on here, but I want to mark off my lines by using the black. Ooh, don't do that. Find it a little bit better. Yeah, you know, all you really need to do is take any kind of fabric, and like if you're using a composition notebook, which I really love to use, um, you could just glue fabric to the front of that composition notebook and or the back. And there you go, you've got. You've got a cover instead of the plain old black and white. 
But I thought this would be cool. I'm not quite done with it. All right, I'm gonna finish drawing my black lines on this. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I pulled out my white and I used my white to put the centers and the flowers. But then I thought I really kind of wanted the, a border, but I didn't want to use the black or the pink or the gray or the silver. So I thought, well, let's pull out the white because it's kind of bright. And it defines the border really well. Like I said, this would make an awesome journal cover. Or, you know, maybe just something that, you know, you could throw some magnets on the back and put it, you know, in a locker. Um, you know, high school, you know, a lot of um, the high school lockers, um, the girls like to decorate them. What about decorating them with something like this? What a nice gift this would make for a girlfriend, you know, at school. All right. There we go. There we go. Doesn't that look adorable? I don't want to pick it up too much because it's still pretty wet. Let's see if I can get it without flopping it. But isn't that adorable? And that's made out of a piece of denim from my husband's jeans. All right, I'm going to let this dry overnight, and um, I think I may spray some glimmer on this, but I need to let all this dry. So I'm going to let this dry overnight, and um, let's see what else we can do to bling it up a little bit. I'll see you in the morning. Hello there, everybody. Um, it's been more than overnight. My voice is completely returned. <laughs> um, actually, it's been about a week or two, give or take. Anyway, I have completed this project and I've already glued it into my journal, but I wanted to show it to you just to follow up um, and just to let you know on the back part of this, I used um, Dilutions paint in bubblegum pink and then I used matte medium and put down some tissue paper that I had laying around. Um, but what I did was just to give this a little bit more uh, sparkle, is I sprayed it with um, Glimmer Mist in Pearl. And I don't know if you can quite see it. I'll try and turn it. It just adds a little bit more shimmer to the denim. Um, I just think it just adds it. It's hard to pick up on the camera, but it's there. Trust me but it just adds a little bit more dimension to it. I really love how this project turned out. Um, please let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Um, and if you've tried it, um, let me know what you think. Leave a message in the comments below. Um, I will leave a list in the comment below of all the different uh, products that I used on this um, with links on uh, where you can pick it up if you want to purchase anything that I've used. Um, from my Amazon store and let me see what else um, I'm also I will also put links in the description below of the other artists who have participated in this um, in this project and what else oh be sure to like subscribe and hit that little bell notify that little bell there so that you can get notifications whenever I put a new video up um, I've got it some some cool things coming up. I hope you enjoyed um, my take on um, clothing for the September uh, stitches. Um, I'm trying really hard to get all caught up, so I'm really sorry this is late. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day, and always be nice. It's really not that difficult. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.